This is Jeff Carr, and I'm going to install one of my light bars on my own pickup truck. I have a 2002 Toyota Tundra, and we're going to be installing a M-Profile light bar, part number 210701, and I'm going to show you how this is going to work, and we should have a lot of fun doing this. One of the parts you're going to need is our rain gutter bracket. This replaces the rain gutter on most of your newer vehicles. We've developed this so you can attach our light bar to it. And basically, it's this box here. This is part number 220052. And it's important you get the right rain gutter bracket for your vehicle. Our bars fit almost every truck out there. But if you get the wrong rain gutter bracket, it won't install properly. It'll just won't work. All right, here's our rain gutter brackets I was just telling you about with the screws that go with that. And we have here the rest of our, our light bar. We have our two end castings here that you're going to need two of those. Those will be inside. The crossbar, which is a main part of it a hardware kit that you're going to need those components and of course our instruction sheet which um, you can follow along. Okay let's get started and put this light bar together. Alright these are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a tape measure, half inch wrench, pencil, screwdriver and inside the hardware pack we have here you're going to, you're going to have an allen wrench you're going to use as well. Now we're going to measure up for our ring gutter bracket. We're going to open our door here. Climb up here so you can see your weather stripping. Put your weather stripping back Set this down, oh, approximately a good half inch or so. And you're gonna have, this is the bracket that attaches the ring gutter bracket to the actual light bar. This thing probably up about there. So when you shut your door, you're gonna clear the bottom of this bracket here. You wanna clear this bracket here. So if you're, if you're too far down, you're gonna hit the door, and then you're not gonna get the door shut, and that's a problem. And you don't wanna have to redrill your holes. So make sure you're not too low, all right? With the uh, bracket in its right position, you want to make sure you get your weather stripping out of the way and you want to take your pencil and mark our, all four holes here. Mark those there. Okay, you're going to take your drill motor, and it's an eighth inch drill bit here, and you're going to drill out each center of these holes. When your bracket is, uh, been, the holes have been drilled for the bracket, this is how it will look. You'll put your four sheet metal screws in there. And it's important you don't over drill those holes. Make sure you just stick it right to eighth inch and tighten these down good and those be secure and ready to go. And you want to repeat this same procedure for the other side. You want to make sure that when these, when you do the other side, that the bracket is at the same position from say the windshield to the edge here is, is over there. You want it straight across. You don't want the brackets at an angle. They'll come uh, loose that way. Okay, now we have both sides with the ring gutter brackets installed. You'll need another person on the other side to help hold uh, the crossbar when we get ready to measure that. So we're going to take our end castings on each side. Go ahead. And get your tape measure ready. Put your uh, bracket inside the gutter. Just kind of hold it there, level it out on top. And you want to measure across the front faces of each bracket. Now for this partic particular vehicle, the dimension is 41 and a half inches that we're going to measure at this point. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to cut the light bar. Our light bar comes 56 inches long. You're going to take the dimension that you had up on the vehicle and you're going to add four inches to that. So whatever that dimension is, you subtract from 56 and you take that total, divide it by two, and take that amount off each end. And it's important to take it off each end because that way your lights will be centered. Now we take our end castings, slide them on the end of each end of the bar, take your 5 16 button head through the hole through the bar, you want to make sure that this large washer is underneath the casting uh, with the hole, the one hole back under the casting with your nylon lock nut. Keep it loose. You want it loose for now so you can slide this thing in and out. Okay, now you've got your light bar cut and we've got our end castings put on in the proper position. So now you take the whole entire light assembly, place it into your rain gutters. And you want to make sure that the end castings are up against the back of those rain gutters. And that will be your final position that you're going to tighten this thing down in. So once you find that, then you can take your half inch wrench and the Allen wrench provided in your hardware pack and tighten down those top two bolts up here and get this thing to be secure. Our L clips that actually tie the light bar to the ring gutter, which ties it to the vehicle. So what you want to do, you want to take a uh, camper proof screw with a lock washer on there and put it through each one of those. And just hand tighten those onto each side of the bracket there. And just take them down just so they're, they're loose and tight. You don't want these tight yet. Now for our final step where we tighten the light bar to the vehicle. 
Now, if you've noticed, on the bracket here, you have three slots. There's also three slots on the, the end castings. And this is kind of a cam action type of deal. You want to select the proper slot in there where you can see you have half a slot on, on the end casting. Put your screwdriver in there, pry up on that, creating this thing to be lifting up. Take your Allen wrench, and as you're prying up on that thing, hold it tight. You tighten each screw up. And it's important that you are holding that thing tight as you do this. That ensures it pushes the casting down and lifts the L bracket up. Squeeze them together, and when you tighten these bolts down, you'll have a nice, tight, secure fit. Now we've got our end bracket tightened down to the truck, nice and secure, nice and hard. Do the same thing to the other side, and your light bar is ready to go for lights. Enjoy the product, have lots of fun, and thank you. Appreciate a thumbs up if you did by clicking the thumbs up button down there. If you want to join our channel, you can hit the subscribe button right here. And uh, don't forget to click the email notification if you want to be notified uh, of new videos when they come on. And right now, if you want to go to the product page where the rest of the information is on, click that link right down there.